T9. So the Pyrons start taking it back. Doctor? Erin? I thought you were. I never thought this would happen. For once, I finally know something you don't. Victor, I can end your war for you right now, if that's what you want. I just need you to trust me. My lord, we have reports from the battlefield. Erin, I believe she knows why. She has been captured by Pyron forces. Someone fired a missile from orbit. Why? Why else? To start a war. <laughs> I can't move. Help me, please. You fight with the Martians. No, please. Then you shall die. Yes. You must return to the base immediately. The chains, I... Hurry. Didn't take them long to start fighting again. No, never does, does it? Where's Ikta? He's gone. Probably off in the thick of battle. They're called Ice Warriors for a reason. Oh, brilliant. So, now what? Good question. Very good question. That's a Pyronian battle horn. A call to arms. They're ending the ceasefire. So, now it begins? No. Now it ends. They can't get in, right? No. No, of course not. Those walls are tough as anything. It's fine. It's fine. ZM73! Why are you here? Trying to get out of the Pyron's hands. No thanks to you. Why are you in here? Shouldn't you be fighting? Once Lord Ikjar is in the field of battle, I am in command. Convenient for you. Battlefield promotion. Suppose Ikdar were to die out there. What then? Then my rank will become permanent. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. I do not understand. Macbeth, an earth play. He kills the king to take the country for himself. Ikdar will not die under my watch. So you say. Good luck, Macbeth. I'll leave you to it. The doctor needs my help. You are bound to the campaign of Mars. For as long as you are breathing, abandon that post, and your life is forfeit. The Doctor. Every time. The perimeter is secure, my lord. Excellent. Check for survivors. Then we move on. What the hell was that? Doctor. Attacked our ship. We are duty bound to defend ourselves. They were ambassadors. They came in peace. Not so long from now, your people and I will stand shoulder to shoulder, making peace across galaxies. One day, you'll evolve into a species that thinks beyond honour and bloodshed. I told the pirates to sue for peace. I should have told them to run. Aaron? What are you doing? Ah, where did you two come from? Here and there, getting a bit hectic outside. Thought I'd wait in here. You didn't answer my question. What are you doing? Looking for something. Ah, here it is. When I first arrived here, I was waiting for someone to get me. Not you, Doctor. Not necessarily. 
but I figured if I made enough noise, someone would be interested in getting me. Anywhere would be better than here, so I got this. Great. What is it? Scanner, radar, that sort of thing. I don't know the exact name. Too many syllables, not enough vowels for me to say it. Now, I've not looked at it for weeks, but I had a thought. As part of the ceasefire, all scanners and tracers will have been deactivated, right? If you say so. But this wasn't. We can trace the missile back and see where it was fired from. The exact Pyron ship that fired it. And if we can get that, we can get turn them back. in. Turn them in? Get payback. Phoebe, we're at war. You do understand that, right? Yes, but if it were just one Pyron that fired it, why should all of them have to suffer? Turn them in, let the Pyrons deal with their punishment, and the peace talks can go on. I don't think so. You think they'd actually do anything about it? The Pyrons got what they wanted, and now we can strike. You both realise this is all academic. It won't make any difference what the Pyrons would do. The Pyrons didn't fire the missile. Then who did? The Ice Warriors. Look at the scanner. The missile didn't come from orbit. It came from the planet. Arced up, then landed on the ship like a firework. An Ice Warrior? But who? Which one? Well, that's the question, isn't it? You know what that means, don't you? Battle stations. How long until it all kicks off? Ice Warrior Battalion this size? An hour? Maybe less? Erin, who do you think fired the missile? Why me? You're the big universe saver. I just make the tea. You've spent months here with them. You know them better than me. Alright. Commander Scradock. Interesting. Why? Promotion? Glory? Bloodlust? How long we got? Plus, he said that he's in charge if something happens to Lord Ikdar. If he wants it, there's always war to be fought. Why extend this one? Why risk his commanding officer? So he can take power? Bit extreme, isn't it? Poison time, fake a power and attack, anything. Why blow up their old ship? Maybe he's not the smartest person around here. But he knew enough to make it look like a Pyron ship. Sorry, I, I thought I knew them better than you. No, you're right. I'm sorry. Where do the missiles launch from? A silo on the other side of the base. They use thermonuclear blasts to launch them, so they're a bit away, just in case something goes wrong. I see. I'll go find Ikdar. We'll check out the silo. I need his clearance. You two, follow Scradoff. See what he gets up to. Um, hang on. Just hold this, please. And, th and this. Bottomless pockets. They do come in handy. Here, earpieces. We can keep in contact. The Ice Warriors won't know about it. Right. Good luck, everyone. My soldiers will fight by the hour, Doctor. They will expect me to be with them. Don't worry. This shouldn't take too long. Just want to check one or two things. An empty missile bait with Scradock was here, written over, will be really helpful. You suspect. Commander Scraddock. Yes. Why? Not who you were thinking. He is a loyal soldier. I've known many battles with him. It does him a great dishonor to even suspect what you believe. So who do you think? Tesca. Tesca. Who'd have thought it? Who's Tesca? Commander Scraddock's protege. He is keen and ravenous for a fight. If a little inexperienced... An inexperienced ice warrior? Well, you know what to say. It's not easy being green. So, he wants to extend the war? I believe so. What about you? What do you want? To honor Mars. And what do you really want? My home. My family by my side. There we have it. This should be the missile rank, just here. Tesco! Speak of the devil. My lord, what are you doing? 
doing in here? Commander Squidick assigned me to this post. Did he now? Wonder why he did that. Head back to the main command. We'll sort everything here. My lord, do as he commands. Very well, my lord. Now, this is the missile that was fired, right? Correct. And uh, how would you go about firing a missile if you wanted to? Simple enough. Lock in coordinates. Pass through the authorization. And fire. Right. Authorization? Every major officer has a passcode. You need to enter it. I see. The access code can be found on the computer. What are you waiting for? Get on it then. And what would you do to them, Doctor? Whoever fired the missile, what would be your punishment? Probably court martial, if they're not shot on sight. I have it. Go on, let's hear it. Oh. You know, I'm starting to get a little bit sick of mud. Mud here, mud there, mud every bloody where. You could have stayed in the bunker, you know. Had a cup of tea. Well, the closest thing we have here. Kicked your feet up. No, no. No. I... I like to be useful. If I can, that is. Is it much further to the border? Not for the nice warrior. Oh my god. Look at that. There must be, what, 10,000 pirates there? More? Looks like. Is that all of them? That is the merest fraction of their armada. <laughs> they have dragons. Why do you not have dragons? Budget cuts. The vanguard marches towards already. These pirates, they hunger for the blood of their enemies. Like savages. Soon, they will learn to fear us. But the access codes can't be erased. It is impossible. No idea. But it's definitely bad news. It means whoever we're up against is clever. Indeed. Lord Victor. Can you pass me your communicator, please? Why? There's a transmitter in here, isn't there? Might be able to use it and override the computer. Bit of a long shot, but better than nothing. It won't work. Our computers cannot be broken. We are defeated. Oh, I don't know. Still plenty of fight left in us. For example, we have all the facts we need to work out who it was that fired the missile, don't we? Now, it would have had to have been someone who both had an access cord and knew the position of the medical ship. So they could have... Oh. Oh. Took me long enough, didn't it? You were wise to be alone, Doctor. No collateral damage. Why did you do it? Why did I do what? You know what? You know full well what? You launched the missile, Ikdar. You're the only one who knew how to fire it, and where to fire it. It must have been you. You should choose your assistance more wisely, Doctor. They suspected Scradock. Nobody's perfect. Except for me, that is. Your ego will be your downfall, Doctor. So why did you do it? No, wait. Let me guess. Keep the war going. Keep your soldiers raring to go. Keep the weapons and honour zing coming. You go up and up and up and up in the ranks of Ice Warrior Command and retire a hero when the final shot's fired. How am I doing so far? Correct. I should have known. You're all the same. Martians. No. Morons. Do you know how wars come to be, Doctor? Not with the words of men alone. No, they are forces of nature. 
cataclysmic forces, like continents shifting and planets forming, they cannot be stopped. You didn't even try, did you? Because all it takes for a war to be stopped is one man, just one, saying, that's it, enough now, no more. That's all it takes. If one man tried to say that doctor, he'd be shot for cowardice. Mars will benefit from this war, doctor. Scientific advancements, public morale, all in the name of the greater good. The greater good? Sending millions of innocents to their death is the greater good? I'm sure their families wouldn't agree on that. So what's your plan? I shall fight my war and bring honour to my people. No, I mean, what's your plan when I give the information to Ice Warrior High Command and let them know exactly what you've done? You would struggle at that, Doctor. You won't be leaving this room alive. I won't need to. Tell me, Lord Ikdar, how do your communicators work? They automatically send a signal to headquarters. And suppose I were to do a very clever thing, give the signal of this communicator... ...priority over the others. What then? They would see it. Exactly. Every ice warrior on this planet has just heard you say that you kick-started this war. And just how do you think they're going to react? They are my loyal soul. They were your loyal soldiers. Now you've stabbed them in the back. How fast can you run, Ikdar? So I am to die. No matter. We all have that enemy to face at one time or another. You can't avoid it any more than I, Doctor. No, but I've made a lifetime out of trying. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. You heard Ikdar say it himself. He set you all up. A duplicitous lie. Two trick us into surrendering. It's not a lie. Please, you have to get everyone back to the base. No good. He won't listen to us. We need to get back to the doctor before it's too late. I'll go. You take the long way round. But... Which one of us would last longer in a fight, Phoebe? Don't argue. I'll see you later. She's going to get herself killed sooner or later. Wait. Is that... What are you doing? Removing the block you put on the search board. Now, we can prove you fired it. I see. Do you know how our missiles work? Roughly. Thermonuclear blast, typical directional system. And naturally, you know that the silos can be sealed in case of emergency. Well, that's just common sense. Wait, no. Victor, what are you doing? I am to die, Doctor. That is a fact. But you shall not leave this room either. Soon a new missile will be loaded into the silo. And you will be crushed. Think it through, Ishtar. It's not going to work. There's a Time Lord, remember? We're not really on speaking terms with death. I have no doubts that you will survive the process, Doctor. Just as you won't be killed by the launch blast at 5,000 degrees, or the firing squad tearing holes in your body every minute. They won't kill you. And what's going to kill you, Ikdar? Erin, is that you? Went through the air vents, and yes, I heard every word of it. Erin, please, whatever you do, don't do anything rough. You have already abandoned your comrades. Now you threaten a senior officer. You shall die for this. Oh, I don't think so. See, I know my Martian physiology, exactly where to hit, to make you die as slowly and as painfully as possible. Erin! For example, the lower thorax, the vestigial livers, and of course, the procreative organs. You 
fool. Humanoids are so brittle, aren't they? All it takes to break them is one little snap. Ah! Ow! Doctor, my arm! Aaron, get out of there now! You initiated the trial of combat. You should see it through. Ah! Now you've proven your point. No, stop it. Lord Ekdar, please! No, Doctor. Never. My lord, and the galactic declaration of peace, I am arresting you for war crimes. There is an old Martian saying, Tesco. All's fair in love and war. You will be restrained to further notice and stripped of all ranks and honors. Tesca! Hi. You're hurt. Um, can you let me out, please? Sorry. Oh, thank God for that. I can breathe again. Erin, are you in pain? Does it hurt? Like I've just been steamrolled a few dozen times. Ugh, only a bit more painful. You're going to be fine. Just a few minutes in the med bay ah. and... Doctor, I, I know what's going to happen to me and I, I'm fine with it. Honest. I didn't think I was ever going to outlive this war. Or get off this planet alive. Or see you again. Two out of three is not bad. It's not up for debate. You're not dying, whether you like it or not. And sign field medics, now. I'm a doctor, Erin. I make people better. Come in. These two were found by the Western border. Still in one piece? It would take more than a pylon to harm me, doctor. He keeps saying I'm not cut out for field work. I think I'm rather inclined to agree. How's Erin? Alive. Just. She would have died with honour. I'd rather she didn't die at all, if it's all the same. I've just been knocking up a letter to the Ice Warrior High Command, telling them the situation. With any luck, the Elisafin campaign will be put on indefinite hold. You have no authority! I have every authority. In fact, High Command agreed with me as to Ikdar's replacement. You, Scradock. Me? Yeah. A bit rough around the edges, but I think you'll do. Go on. Tell your troops the good news. They're going home. Now what? Now we're off. Time we were going. Enough damage caused here as it is. What about Erin? She might need us around, you know? She's coming with us. Really? She didn't mention it. Well, she wouldn't. She doesn't know yet. Someone's got an interest in her, and I want to know why. Someone? You mean the person that brought her here? But that was you, wasn't it? I wouldn't treat my own timeline so carelessly. No. Someone else did this. And they're trying to mess with my history. Something that never ends well. But it's Erin's choice as to what she does. Right, Doctor? No. I'm sorry, but no. I've had too long of letting something as fickle as fate decide what should and shouldn't happen. Go and get Erin. We've got work to do. <laughs>